As promised, we are now back with that SEO video. So there's a couple things that we wanna really consider when we are building a Nuxt app that we plan to have um, evaluated by Google Search Console. One is we need a robots.txt. The other is that we need that sitemap XML. And if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you an advanced thing you can do where you actually dynamically set your sitemap XML. That can be really good if you have a, you know, some kind of like maybe CMS populating your web app, something that could generate a lot of content maybe by other users really quickly, and you want to have all that content ranking in an SEO context. So stick with me for all of that. It is not hard at all. Let's jump in here. Okay, so if you saw the last video, right, we initialized our, uh, our, our, our next project here. So there's a couple things that we want to do and it is mostly adding some modules here. So that'll be pretty nice. Let's go ahead and add some modules. So for those who don't know, this is just extending the base functionality of Nuxt. So nothing too crazy here at all. So we are gonna start, like I said, with this uh, robots.txt file that we want to worry about that's really important. I can tell you I was actually, the reason I'm making this video is because I was just working on a site and had to get all this set up for that uh, for that web app and <laughs> Google Search Console was yelling at the app because there was no simple, there was, sorry, there were no robots. So we want to use this uh, robots.txt. The module is called Simple Robot. I'm going to add a link in the description so you can see what that is. But again, it's NPX Nuxi latest module. Add Simple Robot. So boom, we're going to just hit enter and this is going to take care of everything for us, almost everything. Okay, so we are all good here. As you can see, we have updated I think this is a really nice little thing about its, about its command line interface here. It will actually, um, it'll update our next config file for us. I think that must be new or something because I remember in the past having to always add modules manually. But if we go here to our next config, right? Ooh, new module, very cool. Next simple robot. So um, it did that and it added, of course, as well to our package.json um, that we now have here. You can see it should be here somewhere. Yep, simple, Nux simple robots, versioned, et cetera, et cetera. Now, oh no, it's yelling at us. So it is yelling at us here, uh, frustrating, uh, but not to worry. If you have something like this, oftentimes these kind of little red squiggles under here could be an issue with actually your environment set up. And I have a good sense that this is probably just that. And I, my guess is I need to go ahead and set up a uh, some, some VS Code specifications here to take care of that. Again, if you want to know what my VS Code specifications look like, I will put those down in the body of this, of this, um, the comments. So all we need to do is a little VS Code directory, and inside of here, we can put a little settings.json. <laughs> I often think that if something is going wrong in my project, it's likely the settings are JSON. In this case, I have a good sense. I use Dino um, frequently, and Dino is probably what's yelling at me here. So I'm going to disable Dino, and sure enough, that fixed everything. Again, bring this up, but you might not have Dino. You might not be running Dino, so that's not an issue. But if something is weird, red, and squiggly, leave a comment because I can maybe tell you why it's doing that. So go ahead, that would be perfect. So now with that, let's go ahead, right? We added that simple robots um, module. So now it should be really easy. We could just go ahead and run npm run dev. And if we go back here uh, to our, oops, click on this, very cool. We're setting it up. Let's see what's going on here. If we go here and what, what Google would expect is a robots.txt file, and boom, just like that, robots.txt now exists. Now, the next thing we're going to actually want is, would be a sitemap.xml. Now, you can see there is no sitemap.xml yet, right? So if we want to add sitemap, um, a sitemap to our site here, uh, just a very simple one, we 
Again, just need to use one of these friendly little Nuxt modules. We can do NPM, sorry, NPX, Nuxy latest module add sitemap. Again, I'll throw that down in the description so you don't have to try and like type that out. Hit enter and run it. And cool, again, check this out. It has updated our config. Check that out, that's so good, that's so easy. Again, package.json, you can see they're like, hey, just so you know, we did add sitemap for you, real cool. Okay, so we've got all that set, we can get rid of that. Let's go ahead and run our dev again. Running our dev, and let's open it. Now, you saw a second ago that there was no sitemap. It just, it just brought us back um, to the main page, but if now we go sitemap.xml, Boom, we got a sitemap in here. So these are the two basic things that we are going to want to have to make sure that Google Search Console loves our web app and gives us super good marks for SEO. Now, like I said though, there is another thing that we want to do. And that other thing could be to actually dynamically set our sitemap. Right now our sitemap is set up just to say, you know, here are the pages that you've manually specified. But let's say that your pages are defined with uh, some sort of variable and it might come from data. So imagine for instance, you have a blogging website and people can make as many blogs as they want and you want all those blogs to actually rank in SEO, right? If somebody makes, uh, you know, a, a coloring uh, blog post, and then somebody makes, you know, a, a cooking pastries uh, blog post, you want all of those to get in there and to be part of your SEO. And of course, you wouldn't want to every time one of your millions of users creates one of these blog posts manually go in and add it to your sitemap. So we can do that dynamically. And in our next video, I will show you how to do just that.